Step one in investing is find the highest quality, highest growth, most upside asset for the long term you can possibly find. Step two, get it at the lowest possible entry price. The lower you buy it, the more upside there is. Step three, you have to master and outsmart your psychology, baser instinct, baser emotions because it's a casino. There's manipulation, there's a psychology manipulation. The house always wins unless you can outsmart the underlying emotions that the house is trying to manipulate. And so if you do all that, you will be successful just like every other long-term investor who's done well in the entire history of mankind. So let's take a look back at Bitcoin. Let's look at the price action, some of the psychology, some of the manipulations, what people have had to deal with before getting life-changing returns. So this is the chart of Bitcoin. Imagine buying it you know, around 2017, dollar cost averaging down, thinking, okay, it's probably bottom, boom, have it crash down to 3K on you. That is a max pain, but also the best possible entry point. It goes up slowly, right? You start to get optimistic, thinking, okay, maybe we've got a bottom, maybe it's time to invest more. Boom, sell off, down to another like three, 4K level. That is the most pain. Imagine having to deal with all this for two years and then having that sell off. That is maximum psychological pain, but also the maximum best entry point. So as an investor, look for the most psychological pain point you could possibly find when there's most fear in the market. That should excite you if you believe in an asset long term. If you don't believe in an asset long term, then you have no business being in it because it's going to be very painful to hold it, right? And so right now, Bitcoin is here. We have extreme fear. Would I be surprised if we get one last dip down to shake out the remaining soft hands before a massive melt up? I would not be surprised at all, guys. But let's take a look at where we are in the Bitcoin on-chain metrics and data so we understand kind of what's going on. This chart shows the Bitcoin price in white and the EA dormancy flow in orange. So pretty much showing when the value accumulation periods are historically. Whenever it hits that green zone, the orange bar, you can see it is a bottom, it is a, it is a value point. It is when most people are capitulating. Guys, this is the longest time we have ever been in a period like that. So 115 days, that's where we are. And so this is clearly a value point, guys. I'm sensing serious pessimism in the market. And so this could be one of those opportunities. One last dip down might just shake out the remaining hands. But this should excite everyone. And this is actually really important to pay attention to because once this market rebounds, we want to know, you know what assets will take the, the market by storm. Check this out. This is the United States. These are the tokens that each state wants to invest in the cryptocurrency stocks that each state wants to invest in. Look at that. Dogecoin is dominating. Shiba Inu is second. Ethereum is third. That says so much to me. It says the power of the meme coin, the power of Doge, the power of SHIB. You cannot ignore that, guys. Bitcoin isn't even on there. People want meme assets. I don't know why. Probably in the United States, it's because of Elon Musk. People probably also see the upside in these assets. But check this out. That's the United States. This is Europe. The most Googled cryptocurrencies in every country. SHIB dominating. Bitcoin. Europe seems to like Bitcoin a little bit more. Dogecoin not as prevalent because Elon Musk isn't as popular in Europe as he is in the United States. So just a good indicator of where we are. There's so much more to talk about, guys. We'll keep on top of this market even though there's massive fear.